Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something along the lines of what I've been doing, and that is talking about plants, um, specifically cactus and succulents, um, and how to water them properly, because it can be kind of a tricky thing. Um, I don't think I've ever done anything similar or like this on my channel, but um, I'm going to tell you things that you would need and how to actually do it. Um, so I'm going to get into it. I have just a small watering can that I keep in my room. And another thing that you're going to want to have is a moisture meter. I know this thing looks awfully silly. This is just one that I've gotten at a local store of mine that deals with plants. They're kind of like a localized um, plant store, but you can find them um, online or like in a garden center, pretty much anywhere. Um, fairly cheap. You can get them fairly cheap to really expensive, but pretty much what you're going to want is one that just reads out like this one does. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it goes from dry moist and wet and that is very very important um, to have so that when you go to water your plants just pop this thing in it has kind of a little sharp end not sharp sharp but something that pokes in to the soil and what you're going to want to do is obviously it's going to depend on where you live um, how warm your whatever space it is that you have your plants. Obviously, the hotter and drier kind of air, um, the more the more likely you're gonna need to water your plants. Whereas if you live in a place that gets cooler, you're not gonna need to water your plants as much. Um, right now, for me, um, it's turning into fall, so that means that the air, um, the weather's you know getting cooler. And that's when this guy will come in handy. I also have a little spray bottle um, that I use for my air plants, but um, it does come in handy for especially my cactus. And so when you go to water your plants, firstly you'll want to check this. Um, you just take a plant and you stick it in close to the root ball as possible without actually going like into the root ball. Um, you don't want to cause any damage to the actual roots or anything to the plant because that is how they get the food, nutrients, things like that. And if it comes up the way I do it, and I've had success with it, is this has numbers, um, and I know you can't see it, but one through 10, um, one through three on here is dry, four through seven is moist, and then eight to ten is wet. And for me, one to four is usually when I like to water my plants. And sometimes I try to create a little bit more humidity when the air is a little bit drier. Um, I wait until the sun's not directly on any of my plants. And I just kind of mist over the top of them a little bit, not to actually soak the plant itself. And I feel like that kind of creates a little bit of humidity for them. Another thing that you could do that I personally haven't tried, but something that is, I think something that you could do is have like a little container of water. It doesn't have to be hot or cold, as long as it's like room temperature, just kind of place it in. If you have a lot of cactus and succulents, just kind of place that in, um, kind of like on the table or wherever you have your plants, and that can kind of create humidity. Another thing that I have noticed is a lot of the plants, if you have a lot of plants together, um, they thrive that way too by creating humidity within them. And that's really kind of neat when you think about it. So um, when you water, you do not want to water 
obviously every single day because that will cause root rot, um, especially with cactus and succulents because they are so different than regular plants. It will just harm them more if you water them more. So rule of thumb is water until just a little bit comes out of the bottom of the pot. Um, you should have like a little saucer or something underneath and when you see just a little bit of water coming out then you know that the plant has been watered thoroughly. Now you don't want to just stand there and keep pouring. I would say just go a little bit at a time and give it a few seconds to wait and see if water is coming out and you should be good. Um, you know try it a few times and you should kind of after a while know what is enough and kind of how to do it. Um, another thing is you don't want to water like midday. You don't want to do it when the sun's going to be on your plants because that can cause um, sunburn and things like that. Yes, plants can get sunburned. Um, you're going to want to not go like directly on the leaves, what I just said. Um, you also want to do it either early in the morning, water early in the morning, or sometime in the afternoon, evening time, when you know sun's not going to be directly on them. And same goes with if you're going to feed your cactus and or succulents. Again, you want to be careful that you're not getting on the actual plant because that can actually burn your plant. Um, so that's just kind of like a gist of how to do it. And, you know, as long as you get the hang of it and kind of know the scheduling, if you will, of how to water and feed your plants, they will be happy with you and, you know, just keep growing for you. And that is all that I wanted to talk about in this video. Definitely give me a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any other tips or I didn't maybe cover anything that you wanted to know in this video. And I will get back to you and definitely subscribe to my channel because I do make videos like this a lot and I would like to keep doing more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!